Hello, my name is Father George. I'm the rector of the St. Nicholas of Mira Orthodox Church here in Crofton, Maryland. Uh, we've been here for four years. Since then, we've had about 15 baptisms, um, several chrismations, a wedding, and also a funeral. 75% of our parish are children, which is uh, appropriate since we are St. Nicholas of Mira Orthodox Church. St. Nicholas, of course, being the patron saint of children and generosity, no giving. And uh, essentially, I'm here to ask anybody who would, who would like to give alms to help us build a church. We would like to be uh, founders of a parish. And it's quite a big blessing because uh, from the founding of the parish to the end of its days, you are commemorated in the Prosco I remember we started in an office building on the second floor in a small room. We would have to eat trapez on the stairs. After acquiring your property uh, for St. Cosmas, Mas, it was six years before we were actually able to establish ourselves as a church in the building through a lot of work and a lot of money, a lot of sacrifice. But unfortunately, the bishop started teaching things that were unorthodox, so we had to move out. We had to have one Christmas at somebody's house, but then after that, we finally got a space at an office building. Uh, a big Church, okay? It's you growl. Yeah. And get bigger shirt. When all the children are here at church school, there's about maybe 50 kids. And it is extremely hard. And we have three different classes. Um, the older group usually has to sit outside or on the stairs where strangers have to come down. There's no space for us to do church. We need a new church because um, it's too crowded and we have an office building for a church. Last Christmas we used someone's house for, and we did uh, Christmas out someone's house. And going to the bathroom, that's pretty hard. There's work people upstairs and that's where the only bathroom is. So we have to walk up there, and the poor people don't like us so much. But the mothers change their babies on the stairs. <laughs> there are lots of mothers, lots of babies. It's, it's hard to play outside afterward because it's because there's no yard ends, but there's only a, a, a dirt to play with. I'm always getting yelled at to get out of the room uh, because a, a car is going to crash into me. One of the stories St. Nicholas is most famous for is the story of generosity. There was a widower with three daughters that had become very, very poor. Too poor to be able to provide a dowry to marry off his daughters. He became despondent and thought that the only way out of this situation was to sell his daughter into sin. God revealed this to St. Nicholas so he came by night and secretly threw a bag of gold through the window. The man was ecstatic and happily married off his first daughter. After the wedding, another bag of gold came sailing through the window. The man was curious and really wanted to know who had helped save both his soul and souls of his daughter. So after the next wedding, he stayed up at night and witnessed St. Nicholas delivered the third bag of gold. He caught him and thanked the saint, who of course begged him not to reveal his act of mercy until his death. Don't miss your blessing of becoming a founder of St. Nicholas Orthodox Church.